Hey, what's up there guys? Elton here, aka Retro Old School here on busy Rue Saint-Catherine in downtown Montreal. It is a beautiful day here in the city and uh, the winds have finally lightened up a bit. It's still bloody cold but uh, not as bad as it was the last past few days and I came down here to do, actually I had to go do a little banking down there on Peel at RBC there. And I come out here on Saint-Catherine and I'm like, wow, it's beautiful. It occurs to me that I'm like, shit, you know what? I'm like, man! I have actually, I don't think ever filmed a walk here in the bright sun where, you know, all the buildings, the street cars and all that were actually lit by the, by the buildings. It was always cloudy or it was raining or it was nighttime uh, or it was at dusk where everything was in the shade, like here on Drummond Street, for example, which is so I thought, man, I should do a fucking walking video here. Why not? You know, before I, I go home, got my portfolio in there with some of my best drawings because of the fact that uh, I went to go put one of my drawings up on consignment at a... Uh, store out in the uh, Point Claire, but I don't feel like going into that right now. And there's a so-called fucking Jeep. Is this thing ever fucking ugly? My God, a Chrysler. What the hell were you guys thinking of? Anyway. Oh, oh. Ambulance? Oh, no, that's a cop for sure. Damn it, it's a Code 3 on top of that. Fuck. Look at that clock here, eh? At this old Bank of Montreal. And I decided to start here. I wanted to wait a few minutes uh, because uh, you see uh, Fire Station 25 is just down here on Drummond Street. And recently they were given a go-ahead, I guess, by the city to, uh, to uh, start to be able to do responses uh, heading towards René Lévesque Boulevard because this is a one-way street. So if they would get a call down there or whatever or south, they would have to go all the way around and drive around a block and lose so many minutes. Nice color on this Mini. Hate it as a four-door though, but at least it's not as bad as the Fiat 500 as a four-door. That is a fucking, uh, it's just as ugly as that uh, stupid uh, Jeep that you just saw. So uh, we're uh, gonna go around some of these people here. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Look at all the ice here. Last thing I wanna do is bust my camera since I've had bad luck with cameras. Yeah, it's a beautiful day in my city of Montreal. Yep. Incidentally, that RBC building coming up on the corner there uh, corner of Ice. Did I say Peel? Sorry, not Peel. I mean to say uh, Metcalf. Or, sorry, Stanley. I used to work in that building years ago, selling uh, uh, or doing lead generation for uh, Nextel. And, uh, or as uh, the, you call them, uh, the Americans call them in the States and Southern States, Nextel. Like they say Textel. Instead of saying Textile, they say Textel. Not to make fun of you, but you know. I love accents, I love dialects. You know. And I gotta make a mental note uh, to show you guys something where a car guy is like me, something really special parked up on Peel Street. I don't know if it's still there, but uh, we'll check her out. Yeah, I used to work in this building there for a short while, many years ago, at 1134. 1134 Saint Catherine. And it's funny because if you put 1134 upside down, it actually spells hell. You know? Yeah. I don't come on this street as often as I used to because there's just so many people, so many crowds and I think it's easy to feel like a fucking loser around here too when you're poor because a lot of people have money down here. I mean, look at the cars down here. It's like a miniature version of like fucking New York City, Manhattan, you know, Times Square. You know what I mean? Nice coat. Look at this zombie here, eh? Mind control devices! I just as I just told the guy at the bank there, this young guy, I'm like, man, I'm not uh, me. I leave the internet at home. I just went to transfer it to an iPhone, and it's great. I love it, but uh, again, the internet will remain at home. I don't want to be, you know, become like everybody else. They're always texting and going cuckoo with the fucking phones all the time, and yeah. Seriously, I can't believe it. I've been doing this walking videos for what, two years now? Three years? I've never done a video here in the bright sun. I don't think I ever did. Maybe once, but I really don't even remember. It was always, like I said, dark and cloudy and, uh, and fucking uh, snowing or something or raining and dusk. Now, let's see if that car is still there. This is Peel, La Rue Peel. Matter of fact, let's get a zoom in shot over here. Show you the mountain there, Mount Royal up there. Look at that, there's Mount Royal. Mont Royal. Nice colored minivan there. 
Anyway, so, yeah, and there's where HMV used to be, sadly closed, which uh, used to stand for His Master's Voice, which uh, was a company uh, part of uh, uh, RCA, RCA Victor. Now, let's see, let's see if that place is still here. Uh, place, that, not that place, that car I saw. I gotta show you guys this fucking car, it's outstanding. Biggest car you could probably get in this day and age. I don't even know, if, I don't even know if it's still there. Yeah, I think it's still parked there. So, okay, this is going off the St. Catherine there, but I gotta show you guys this place. Here, I just came out of here to Rock and Piss, the uh, Cour Mont Royal. This is a very old, very old shopping center. And you gotta see this car, man. You got a guy's just parallel parked. He's got his uh, auxiliary lights on. There's a lot of money on this street, man. There's some of these cars. I saw earlier there was a Jaguar, I think it is XJ parked here it's not there anymore but yeah, I gotta show you this car this fucking car it's fantastic yeah it's a Bentley Continental man you never see these cars not as a four-door always as a two-door oh there's all these cars there though look at that beautiful thing man that's probably a v12 in there what a massive looking automobile amazing and I would be surprised actually if it was driven in the winter because I mean again it's it's right up there with you know an exotic car like a Lamborghini or Ferrari and things like that and certain Porsches you just it's like a crime to drive that in the winter it's so rare and especially expensive and especially expensive to fix you know the more expensive the car is the more it's gonna cost you to fix it's pretty much as simple as that you know and I ain't talking about some Cadillac we're talking about really high-end you know, belonging to some of the richest people in the world. It could be that guy that just walked out of that building. Oh, and look at this uh, pathway here. Yeah. Yeah, old alleyway. Anyway, I'll go back to the Rue Saint Catherine. Uh, well, I'm still doing these videos, even though I'm friggin' tired today. I'm like, whatever, might as well uh, enjoy the sun a little bit more before I go home and uh, eat my uh, leftover butter chicken. See, that's a good looking car. See that? Ford Explorer, right? Right? Beautiful looking, uh, well, beautiful. It's a good, it's a smart, it's a good looking SUV. I like it. Now I saw, uh, what was it I saw today? The Lincoln Navigator? Oh, yo, yo, man, is that ugly. Excuse me. Ugly fucking thing. Ugly. It's ugly. You know? Yeah, I'm glad to show you that fucking Bentley, man. It's clean too. Clean machine. You don't see those often. That and of course the uh, I forgot to mention the equivalent Rolls Royce uh, Phantom Ghost. Just a guy I'm subscribed to in London. There, it's a rich guy. He's got all these highly desirable uh, exotic cars. A lot of them are vintage, and and he did like a 2,000 mile trip in a Rolls Royce Phantom equivalent to that Bentley, and uh, it just looks so comfortable. It's just such a massive car, you know. And, and uh, like this other guy I'm subscribed to, there uh, Hoover's Garage. He's got one. And, uh, you know, he's like, man, it, it's just, it's perfect for a guy who's tall. Uh, the guy's tall like me. He's like 6'3", six, 6'2". Six, and uh, it's just, uh, it's just, you know, just roomy as hell in there. It's just, you can't find that in Car City anymore. I kind of like that Lexus. And I like that Taurus, even though it's dirty. Cisco Kid was a friend of mine. I don't think it's going to be a long walk. I mean, I don't know, man. Because uh, I'm going to, like I said, go home after and... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll stop this at McGill, take the Metro McGill. There's the old uh, Paramount Cinema. Except when I say old, I don't mean really old. And now we're, I think we're at Metcalf. You know, that Jean Coutu has been there a long time. Uh, yeah, Metcalf. There's a Sun Life building over there, which at one point was actually, this is the old, no, sorry, this is the oldest uh, high-rise skyscraper in Canada and also has the largest and oldest parking garage as well inside that is so yeah Dominion Square that's yeah, still a fun street you know oh look Schindler Schindler elevators there you go ascenseur Schindler ascenseur is French for elevator ascenseur elevator see there you go oh there's a Lexus I like look at this fucking thing oh my god it's so beautiful what is that a ES250 I think Oh man, oh man. But what's funny is that those cars are funny. They always seem to be in like three colors. That gray, gunmetal gray, gold, and uh, what was the other one? Black or white or whatever. 
Typical of today's cars, fucking colorless as usual, unfortunately. Look at fashion, same thing, colorless. Yeah, that's how she goes. Yep, I think I'd like to go home before the rush hour. Every time I go out in my ventures, I always seem to come home at rush hour. I hate that. Because, you know, the trains are fucking loaded with people and they're packed. And I hate that, you know. Who does? Who likes that? Hey, look at this nice old Land Rover Discovery here, eh? Maybe about 20 years or older about. Yeah, looks in good shape. Looks in real good shape. Paint is nice. Uh, push bar in there. Well, maybe it's not that old. Maybe it's 2006. I don't know. I always like that raised roof part, you know? A lot of times when I think about these, I think about one that uh, that uh, Christopher drove there, his character in The Sopranos. Yeah. Status. Speaking of status, there's a Jeep there. Beautiful building here where this Telus is. It wasn't that before, that's for sure. <laughs> Smells good around here. You can see part of uh, Plusville Marie over there. PVM completed in 1962. Yeah, among all the colorless cars, I gotta switch hands here because I'm still holding the portfolio. And it's funny because St. Catherine Street is still pretty, a lot of it is still broken in bad shape because cars go by slowly here and the heat from exhaust makes for all the potholes and cracks and, you know, the heat, the warming of the temperatures, then they freeze and they're warming and it's just this whole, you know, process of disintegration there. Yeah, I like the blue on these Jeeps here. You know? Yes, sir. Well, I think I'm going to finish this at the Eaton Center because, like I said, I'm not going to do Normally, I think if I have more energy, uh, I'm pretty tired lately. I think I, I would have made this video up until Plus Days are, but... Oh, man. Here's, look, see, it's always the fucking luxury cars that are most beautiful today. Seriously, look at this. Infinity. I love this car. I think it's a Q50 or a Q65. Beautiful lines. Fucking nice, man. You know? It's like, okay, that Hyundai is okay, but this is fucking gorgeous. Look at this thing brand new you know look, look at the style on the the grill and the headlights it's funny we've come to a point like in the late 60s where there, you know like bumpers are really a joke frankly and uh, or there, it, there aren't any bumpers frankly ah but Montreal unfortunately even at this fucking dead of winter is still construction all over the place downtown I mean it's crazy look now they're starting to fucking tear up uh, Saint Catherine there and uh, you know uh, yeah, that's how she goes. And now we're at McGill College here. The street, I mean. Because McGill College, McGill Uni I don't know why it's called McGill College, because McGill University is up there, so shouldn't it be called McGill Actually, there's university after this, and this is McGill College, so... I don't know, man. Whatever. You know? That's how she goes. So, uh, that's about it, guys. Just a short walk here for you here, and... Uh, Nothing more than that. Uh, just some, a uh, lot of eye candy. That's what that's what downtown is. Eye candy, you know. Yeah. I guess we'll walk here. Make sure you don't get hit by a truck. Well, not you, but me. You know. Oh, I'm sure the construction companies are happy. That's for sure. You want to fucking make money in construction? Well, you want to work. Run a company and make money in construction or work in construction, you come to Montreal, man. Don't worry, don't we'll find fucking money for you, we'll find some work for you. So, uh, yeah, and by the way, uh, those of you familiar with this city, I'm gonna stop this here at the uh, Eaton Center entrance. As you can see, there's uh, their renovation going on in there too. But uh, see, there used to be a Nichols restaurant here for, for like decades and it's gone, man. I'm sure, they had an offer they couldn't refuse. Look at all these stores are closed. I guarantee you they were all offered from a developer to close. So that they could knock all that shit down and make a condo, you know? Guaranteed, man. Money, baby. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. Which I don't have. Anyway, well, uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave you this uh, saying goodbye. And uh, you know, we'll go right, uh, right right here. And uh, that's it, man. So uh, finishing with this uh, construction there. And uh, there you go. Have a nice day, guys. Or the evening or whatever. Take care. Bye-bye.